Well, the great Minnesota get-together is the perfect place uh, to be seeing food, eating food, drinks, but also seeing some really cool art. Yeah, there's uh, one of the biggest things that you can see as you walk in from the Como Avenue entrance is uh, something that the DNR is using to help educate us about wastefulness and the environment. And they say it uh, also serves as an art gallery of sorts. Here to tell us about the Adopt the River cleanup and uh, found objects sculpture in St. Paul is Paul Nordell from uh, the DNR. Hi, Paul. Hello. Good How to, are you? Good to be here. Yeah, Paul, so what did you bring here? So these are, this is not, this is my cell phone. Get that out of here. What are these things that we have going here? Uh, I was requested to bring a couple sculptures over uh, from the from the DNR. Unfortunately, the one we have this year is 12 feet tall, so no it would be kidding. hard to get in. So and that's a rabbit, it. is it? Uh, that's that's the assertion of the artist that it is a <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> yeah. So it's <laughs> allegedly some poetic license involved right. there, right? Well, what, so what do we have here? Is this stuff that we've that you found in rivers and lakes? This has been uh, washed out of the river. Um, typically, uh, you find quite a few of these uh, flip flops, flip flops, yeah. and they're usually the right foot that's found. What does that mean? That's but this mm. is a left. This is the an unusual. This is, a this is an unusual find that That's we right. have here. This uh, this Ham's beer can. This hasn't been produced in years and years <laughs> and years. Is that a, do you know? Is that a recent find or is that from a while ago? These uh, what was going on in the 70s before they had flip tops. Oh yeah, there's no flip top. There's on no there. flip top. It's a heavy gauge. And these were buried in the riverbank, and they're washed out recently. So, so stuff gets in there and stays yes, for years. And what kind of years. negative impact can it have on our on what we love so much around here, which is the water? Well, for example, if you uh, take a look at this oil, this, this makes me kind of sad to see all yes, this it's, stuff. It's all the what all this has in common is that it floats. Okay. Oh. And the fact that it was full of beverage when it landed indicates that it was not. It was not intentionally thrown. Sure. I mean, people love their root beer. They don't throw it in the Who river. Who would throw that away? Who would? Right. Look at that. Well, uh, I really appreciate you showing us yeah. what we need to be on the lookout for. And yes. if you want to see what you guys have made, kind of the best of uh, making the best out of a bad situation, you right. can see that sculpture here on the uh, on the fairgrounds. If you come mm -hmm. in the Como Avenue entrance, it's near the DNR exhibit. That's right. That's correct. It's right behind the duck pond. All right. This is our uh, 21st year. And there's wow. a new sculpture every year, so every get year. it and take a selfie yes. with it. Thanks, Paul, for coming out. Thank it's you. A appreciate celebration it. celebration of all the cleanups over 25 nice. years. Yeah, I'm Great glad work. to see this is not no longer in our bodies of water. Thank you very much. Yeah.